Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now the question, what is the major product of this reaction? What is this reaction? This is actually an alkyl bromide and here the reagent is potassium tertiary butoxide in butanol. What is the product? By the way, from this option, it's a little confusing, but remember this potassium tertiary butoxide is actually a strong base and it is taken in tertiary butanol which is acting as a solvent. And remember not only strong base, this potassium tertiary butoxide is also a bulky base. These two points are very important regarding potassium tertiary butoxide. So what it can do? It can result in elimination reaction. Remember, because of the bulky nature of this tertiary butyl group, it cannot act as nucleophile. So, nucleophile part is off. But if you take this one, it can act as base. More specifically, if I say strong base, bulky base. So, what it will do? It will remove beta hydrogen. So, if you look at, there are two types of beta hydrogen available. So, this is one beta hydrogen and this is another beta hydrogen. So, two types of beta hydrogen here available. So, now the next question. In this case, what will be the product? If you look at here, this tertiary butoxide, as I told, tell that, okay, if you look at this beta hydrogen versus this, by the way, these and these are equivalent, doesn't matter. Now, this beta carbon and this is beta prime. So, this beta carbon, this side, it's a secondary hydrogen. And if you look at this one, it is actually a primary beta hydrogen because the carbon is actually primary carbon. So you can say this primary carbon is actually lesser bulky in nature. Consequently, this can abstract this proton efficiently. Okay. And next time this bond pair will come here and it will result in elimination. So what it will result? this agree so this is the product or actually if you say this is a less substituted alkene very important concept student remember that if you take such kind of bulky base they prefer to abstract the proton from less bulky position because this base is itself very bulky because of this steric requirement it removes the proton from here and resulted this less substituted alkene as a major product. By the way, instead of that, if you take sodium methoxide or potassium methoxide in methanol as a solvent, what you can expect? Now, in that case, this OME is actually less bulky base. By the way, in this case, there will be competition between nucleophilic substitution, I mean ether preparation versus beta proton elimination but if you look at here this carbon center it is tertiary another reason so nucleophilic substitution not possible okay SN2 not possible so now next point there is an another point okay this can abstract proton from here and here now in this context since it is capable to abstract both then more substituted alkene or I mean this one will be the major product now why if you look at here, this alkene is more substituted, means here 3 hydrogen, 3 hydrogen, total 6 plus 3, 9. So, 9 alpha hydrogens are available. So, more number of hyperconjugation, more is the stabilization of this alkene. Or this is actually more substituted alkene. By the way, student, I request you, please recall the ZZEP rule. In case of dehydrohalogenation or beta hydrogen elimination, more substituted alkene is produced as the major product. But that condition could be tuned if your base is bulky because of steric requirement, this less substituted alkene becomes the major. So I guess you understood this concept clearly. So what is the major product of this reaction? Obviously, in this case, it will be option B. Now, if this question appears in your exam, less than 30 seconds, how can you get? Now, one thing, potassium tertiary butoxide is a very bulky base. So, nucleophilic substitution not possible. By the way, no option given also like that. And it will abstract proton from less bulky side. 
throw directly answer B. Now just imagine you do not know it. How can you get the right answer? It's actually a base or nucleophile. You can expect like that. By the way, very less chance that a Shevitoxer, I haven't seen any that much example. So very rare case. Now, if you look at option D, it is a simple, uh, first of all, reduction reaction. There is a bromo and in this case, there is hydrogen. So did I give any reducing agent? Answer is no, it's not a reducing agent. Now, if I look at option C, it is invalid reagent. Why? Because one bromo there. So one elimination reaction possible. So one double bond preparation possible. In this case means alkene preparation possible, not diene because here one, here two, two double bond. So this is a illogical option. Now actual competition is between option A and option B. By the way, using your logic, you have removed this two option. This is called process of elimination. Very helpful for solving MCQs. Now here, using this bulky based logic, you can get this right answer. So this is the overall discussion. I believe this video will be useful. If you really consider the content of my channel is worthy, then please help this channel to grow. And if you have, if anyone have doubt regarding the logo of my channel, I request everyone, please read this part. Your doubt will be clear. So this is the overall discussion. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.